and Joseph, the rich man, had buried Jesus. Remember, they had put him in a tomb. They wrapped him in linen, and they put him in the tomb. Well, there was a lady there, and her name was Mary Magdalene. Now, Jesus had friends, the 12 disciples, but he also had women that used to follow and be his helpers. And Mary Magdalene was one of those ladies. And we're going to hear a little bit about her. But it's now Sunday morning. So he died on the cross on Friday. Saturday, nobody could go out because it was the Sabbath. Now it's Sunday morning, and the sun has not even risen yet. It's very dark in the morning of Sunday morning. And there is a huge earthquake. Oh, no. It knocked everything over. And an angel came out of heaven. And it rolled the stone away. And the angel, when he rolled the stone away, the soldiers that were guarding the tomb fell over as if they were dead. They weren't really dead. They just fell over like they're up. <laughs> and so it's still dark. It's still dark by the tomb. And Mary is one of Jesus' helpers. She has been following Jesus for the last three years. Now Mary Magdalene loved Jesus because Mary Magdalene, when she first met Jesus, she had seven serious illnesses that the sneaky snake had given her these illnesses and had made her ill. Seven illnesses. And Jesus had come up to her and said, you're healed. And the seven illnesses were taken from her. And from that moment on, Mary loved Jesus. And she would follow him everywhere he went. So when, Mary, when Jesus died on the cross, Mary wasn't one of the ones that deserted him. She was right by the cross and stayed there for all the six hours. And then when Nicodemus and Joseph buried Jesus, she was right there when the body came off the cross. She was outside the tomb watching them where they put Jesus. And she stayed by that tomb until it was she couldn't stay any longer. Because when it was Passover, everybody had to be in their homes. So she had to go home. And Saturday, she's just waiting. I, I wish I could go to the tomb. I wish I could go to the tomb. But, it, but she couldn't. It was the Sabbath. So as soon as she got up on Sunday morning, it wasn't even dark. She runs over to the tomb. And she sees that the stone has been rolled away and she, the stone was huge and she goes oh my goodness the stone's been rolled away and she looks in there and she goes oh, it's empty they've taken my jesus now mary did not understand that jesus rose from the dead she didn't understand the scriptures yet and she thought somebody's stolen my jesus somebody has stolen my jesus and so she runs over and she tells the apostles peter and john and she said, Peter and John, somebody has stolen Jesus. The stone's been rolled away, and he's not in there. Now, remember, they don't know the scriptures yet. They don't understand that Jesus has rose again. So Peter and John, now Peter was the one that denied Jesus. Remember, he said, before the rooster crows, you're going to deny me. And John was the one that always used to lay right next to Jesus and listen to every word he said. So, they, so Peter runs, but John's a faster runner, and John gets there first. And John looks in, and he, he looks and sees the body's gone. He's not in there. Peter gets her second, and he looks in. Well, it says that John looked and believed. John looked and believed. He's like, hey, Jesus did say he was going to raise again. Peter looked, but it doesn't say he believed. He just looked with his eyes. He's like, hmm. And they said, what happened? They didn't understand. So they went away thinking about it, and they went back to their home. Well, Mary, she's not leaving without her Jesus. And so she's in there and she starts crying, oh, where's my Jesus? Where's my Jesus? I want to be near him. She wanted to be near his body. But, so she looks in there and she sees two angels. Now, if I saw two angels, I'd be freaking out. Mary, she's so worried about her Jesus. Angels, they're not impressing her. And so she looks and she sees two angels and the angels ask her, Mary, why are you crying? Because they've taken my Jesus and I don't know where he is. And she's crying and crying and the angels... They tell her, don't weep, don't weep, he's risen. But she looks over and there is Jesus. <gasps> but you know when you're crying so much that your eyes are all swollen that you can't see anything? And she's crying, oh, they've taken my Jesus. And, and Jesus asks her, why are you crying? And then she said, she thinks it's a gardener. She can't even see straight, her eyes are all swollen. <laughs> she thinks it's a gardener, she goes, do you know where my Jesus is? Do you know where my Jesus is? Have you taken the body? I'll go pick him up and I'll bring him back. Now, little Mary, 
she's thinking she's going to carry Jesus' his body all by herself. That's how badly she just wants to be by Jesus. And Jesus tells her very something. He tells her, Mary, Mary. Now, the way he said her name was very special. Because you know when mommy calls you and mommy says like, your name in a very special way? Like she may say, Andrew. And you're like, oh, that's my mom's voice. Well, that's what Jesus said. Jesus said, Mary. And he goes, she goes, oh, I know that voice. Yeah. And so she looks at him and she goes, Rabboni, Rabboni. Yeah. That means master teacher, master teacher, my teacher. And she goes, Rabboni. And she hung on to Jesus and she was not going to let him go. I mean, she was, have you ever like when mommy drops you off and you don't want to let mommy go? And like, we have to kind of pry you off of mommy. That's what she was doing. She was hugging Jesus so hard. And he's like, uh, 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 you got to let me go, Mary. You got to let me go. And so, but she wasn't going to let go. But he told her, I got a job for you to do. You got to let me go. You got to, and so she, all right, I'll let you go. And he goes, go tell all the apostles that I've risen from the dead. You, I got a job for you. You go do it. And so Mary took off running and she obeyed and she told the apostles, he has risen. He has risen. And so Mary became the very first missionary. Because a missionary is somebody that goes and tells yeah. the full gospel. That Jesus has not died on the cross, that he rose again, and that tomb is empty. So, Mary became the first missionary that God used. Because she looked in, she saw the empty tomb, and she believed that he rose from the dead. And so, today, I want you guys, before you leave, we're not going to do it right now, but when you guys leave, I want you guys to look in to the empty tomb. But you can either be like Peter who looked and said, oh, yeah, that's empty. I, I get it. I don't understand it, but I get it. Or you can be like Mary and John who looked and go, oh, it's true. He rose again. He is risen. And so when you guys are laying out the class, I want you to look in. And remember, there's two ways to look. You can look and say, that's cool. That's really nice. Or you can look and believe. And if you look and you believe, remember, if I declare that the Lord, that Jesus is Lord with my mouth, if I say it, and I believe in my heart that God rose him from the dead, that I will be saved. That's all it takes.